Hello, I'm Atubo George. Now, this is really getting interesting. And I, I hope, and I told you the other day, I said, if you miss a word of what I'm saying, you'll miss the whole point. So you need to listen attentively. See, attentively. And you may need to listen to this message over and over. Praise God, so you don't miss anything. Now, yesterday I was talking to you about what Peter says, add to your faith virtue, you not know, add class to your faith. And I was explaining that to you. Now, someone may think, ah, are you not getting into the area of covetousness or, you know, being, you know, covetous? And... No, 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 no. Everything is here. Everything is here. Now, listen. He said, verse 5, 2 Peter chapter 1, and besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. Add it. Now I said virtue means class. Add some class to your faith. Add some, um, you know, good stuff to your faith. The word of God has come to you. Faith has come to you. But it's your job to add class to your faith. Now notice the next thing he says. He says, add Add to your faith virtue and to virtue, you notice, know, and to class and to excellence. Add knowledge. Your job again. Add knowledge. Now, what knowledge is he talking about here? He's not talking about the knowledge of Jesus Christ when he says add knowledge. He's talking about the knowledge of that thing that you're adding. That that you know, I just say, for example, faith has come concerning something now. And then he says, add value to it, add class to that faith. And then he says, add knowledge to it. So now, you, you need to know how these things work. You need to know who, who deals with this thing. For example, I, I'm believing God for a car, and then the word of the Lord has come to you that this year you will get a car. Okay, so um, what kind of car do I want? Now, what are you doing? You're adding value, you're adding excellence, you're adding virtue to your faith. So what kind of car do I want? Oh, I want a saloon car. Why do I want a saloon car? Okay, this is what it's going to cost to maintain a saloon car. You know, sometimes we go, hey, if God, God cannot give me what I cannot handle. You know, hey, but you need to know how to work these things out. See, you need to know. See how? Now, acknowledge to it. See? If I'm, if I'm expecting an SUV, for example, okay, how do, I, how do you maintain an SUV? What's the fuel consumption of an SUV? Okay, the Lord says, I'm going to get married. Okay, so what do I know about marriage? What, what, what do I know about keeping a home? What is that? Add knowledge. Add knowledge. Read. That's what he's saying. Find out. Today you, have, you can go on the internet and search out anything. Find out those things. Now, you see, because you are doing this in God. Remember, you are doing this because of the faith that came to you. But I want you to follow this now. Notice what he said next. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He said, Add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge. And to knowledge temperance, which is what? Self-control. Add it. Okay, so now then, I am believing God for this thing. The word of the Lord has come to me, so faith has come. Now I've added value to my faith. I know exactly what I'm believing God for. See? And then, and, and then next thing says, add knowledge to it. So I know why I need this thing like this. That's knowledge. So I'm not just asking because I want to just drive it downtown you know, and let people know that I serve a living God. That's nonsense. See, that, that's, that's wrong, misplaced priority, I'm telling you the truth. You don't, you, don't, you don't exhibit faith in God because you want to show off. That is wrong. He won't even answer you. Praise <laughs> God. He won't answer you. That's not why he gave you faith. But when faith came to you, now you've added value to it. Now you've added knowledge to it. Now he's saying, add what? Temperance, self-control. Now, why do you need self-control? Because I am not going to put my hand into what God haven't commanded me because I want that thing. Listen, it is God that began the faith in the, in the beginning. Jesus is the author of, of my faith and he's the one that's going to finish it. But now the in-between is what I'm sharing with you. So now, I, I've seen the car that I want. I love it. And I, I've, I've been searching around it, understanding how it works. And then the word of the Lord, then, then I'm adding what, that's knowledge now. Then I'm adding what? Self-control. Now, because when I'm finding out all these things, 
The option of a loan can come to me. Oh, I may just find, I may just stumble on an information that you can take a loan for this. And then I say, hold on, is that what I want? No, you know what? I'm not going to do anything until I hear the Lord command me to do so. I can even take it before the Lord and say, Lord, I don't know. I heard about this loan situation that I can take. What, what do you think about it? You know, Lord, I won't do anything until you tell me to do it. And then you wait. Now, what's that? Self-control. An opportunity may come your way. Hey, do this sneaky business and you'll get that thing. Hey, just, you know, just do this thing. And you know it's wrong. You know it's against your faith. See? Now, what do you do? You go before the Lord. Don't, don't, let, let me tell you this truth. Don't try to, I can never, I can never. No, 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 no. You are turning the faith in yourself. See? And you may regret it. Yeah, I'm telling you. You see, because you will not follow the process to, to where you experience joy. So what do you do? Take that option also to the Lord and say, Lord, I don't know why this option came. But you know what? I trust in you. Praise God. And when he sees that, he takes responsibility for you. Now, from self-control, what next did he say you should add? He says, temperance, which is self-control. And to temperance, patience. Patience. See? Now, what is patience? Patience is not sitting down and waiting. Oh, God said, have patience. Ah, okay. I, I, wish they, I wish I didn't have to wait. You know, because you think patience is waiting. No, patience is coming to that place of rest and peace, knowing that this thing shall be done for you. Jesus says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, right? And what will happen? And all these things shall be added unto you. What things? And that's all we're talking about. You, you, you release patience. It's your place to apply patience. Now, he's told you, add self-control. So, I'm not going to do things myself to get that thing that God, I'm believing God for. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to lie to get that thing I'm believing God for. No, I'm going to wait for the Lord to give it to me. See? So, I thought you say you've gotten your car. Oh, yeah, I've gotten my car. So, where is it? Relax. You are going to see it. It's um, a few days to the end of the month. Come on, relax. You will see it. Praise God. Now, what's that? And you don't get, oh, Father, Father, you said it all. You said it. No, 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 no. You, you, if you're feeling pressured, I'll tell you what to do. Father, you know I'm believing you for this. And you spoke that word and that's what started me on this journey. And I'm patient because your word is true. Don't ever let pressure come on you because of your faith. It's not from God. The devil will bring pressure to take you out of line. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day ever. Bye-bye.